Hi everyone and welcome to Miss B Med Teacher channel. Today I'm gonna talk about um, Neplan and please note this is the second part of Year 9 Neplan's Neplan Numeracy Calculator. Next one, Lynn uses a photocopier to enlarge this picture. So here's a picture and wants to make it bigger. So um, uh, uh, it looks like more uh, looks more like square so I'm gonna like this yeah okay so this is six and this is four I'm not gonna use units um, so the enlarged picture picture it's three times as long and three times as wide so three times as long so it's four centimeters long three times so it's times by three and times by three so which is gonna produce, you know, uh, something that's gonna be a little bit bigger. Four times three is 12, six times three is 18. So enlarge is three times, so three times more than four. So three times four is 12 and 18. Now we are not done. Um, so the question is the area of the enlarged picture is, three times the area of the original, six times, nine times, 24 times. Now, in order to calculate the area, pretty much you just, you know, use uh, four times six. So the area of the first one is um, six times four is equal to 24 centimeters to the power of two. And the other area is uh, 12 times 18. And um, 12 times 18 is equal to 216, 216. Now, um, in order to find if it's bigger or not, so two ways of doing this. So we can have a look, 24, uh, 24, uh, no, 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 I'm just gonna have it up here. So we can have a look here. Um, okay, 24 times a number is, equal to 216 so um to see how many times you know area has been enlarged so um two ways of doing it you can try um every single number here to substitute times three nope is not gonna be that one times 24 no it's not gonna be that one so it's too big so it could be six or nine you know it depends how you want to do it so anyway um the other way of doing it is pretty much just dividing both sides by 24 so 24 and should give you you know the answer so um so if you divide this it's going to give you um answer is going to be nine so therefore the area of the large picture is nine times the area of the origin so this would be the correct answer okay question 12 um question 12 Here's a table of values. So this is a table of values. So uh, for X and Y, which of this is correct rule for Y in terms of X? For Y in terms of X, pretty much uh, what is happening here is every time X is changing, Y is changing as well. So, and we need to find that relationship between X and Y. So um, let's have a look here. So we can see if x is equal to 0, y is equal to 0. It's like, okay, it looks like, you know, the same x, 0, y, 0. But then, uh, you know, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, wow, the same. But then, you know, and it does look like this one here. But we have to check, let's go to the last one, 2 and 8, okay? So that is not x equal to y. So the last one here it's more like, um, you know, two times two times two. So, um, so therefore, what we can do, um, we can eliminate this one. So it's definitely not that one because it doesn't suit, um, you know, every single um, expression here. So, y is equal to x. Two times zero, that's okay, is zero. Two times 0 0.5, um, I think you're still gonna um, have, you're gonna have one, aren't you? So like oopsies is not that one. Uh, two times um, one is two. That should be correct. But this one here we checked and no. Uh, so therefore it's not th this one either. So three times x. Three times x is two. Uh, three times x is two. 
3 times 2 is um, 6, so it's on this one here. It does look like uh, it's, you know, the last one. So I would still check by choosing maybe um, two values. So um, x is equal to 2, y is equal to 2 times 2 to the power of 2, 2 times 4 is 8. Now, it's correct for this one. Let's choose another one because we have seen before that, you know, um, um, like for two values of x, um, it does, you know, um, it's correct rule. So let's have a look at this one here. So x is equal to 1, uh, y is equal to 2 times 1 to the power of 2, it's 2. So, and this is what we have here. So, um, beautiful. So, um, let's go with the next one. And this one in the diagram, ACD is a straight line. So this one here. This one here, so the straight line, so I'm um, not to scale. What is the size of angle B, C, E? So we are interested um, in this angle here. So uh, a few things to maybe um, recall. So these, so if you do have a um, triangle that looks like this, so, um, and the line here is, is extended. So um, there's a theorem um, that, um, um, maybe you're familiar with, but pretty much is an exterior angle of a triangle. So, which is this one here, exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of the opposite interior angles. So, um, if I label this one alpha, so and this one beta and uh, gamma, pretty much we are saying that alpha is equal to... Um, beta plus um, gamma. So that's what we're saying. So uh, let's have a look how is that going to help us here. So um, um, now we do know that all of this, all of this, you know, um, it is equal to uh, 57 plus 48. So that is going to give us what? 57 plus um, 48 equal to 105, 105. So, um, but that's all, all of this, all this blue. So, but we don't need all of that. We just need this, you know, small portion here of green. So, which means we have to take away um, 20. So, therefore, 105 take away 20 is going to be, is it 85? So it should be 85 degrees. So, and we do have that 85 here, and that um, is correct answer. So again, you know, um, if um, you want, you can look up, you know, some um, triangle um, theorems. So this one is called triangle exterior angle theorem. Um, let's go on the next page, um, and that would be, um, you know, inclusive for... 1a and then I'm going to record 1b with the second half of the questions for this um, NAPLAN for year 9. Um, Mira made a table showing population data over two years for the six Australian states. Some data for South Australia is not shown and uh, which is this one here. What was the population um, in South Australia closest in 2003? So is this one here. Again, you can, like, you know, use um, elimination, so to um, eliminate some possible answers. 0.6%, um, it's um, um, it's less than 1%. So if you had 1%, it would be like um, um, 15,000 or something like that. So, um, but we don't, um, so... If you're not really sure, so you can pretty much, you know, calculate. So, 0.66%, so 0, okay, is that 0.6% is the same as 0 0.6 out of 100. So, which is the same as 6 out of 1,000. So, and um, as a decimal place is 0.006 so this is you know the percentage increase from previous year converted into a uh, decimal number so then you may use 1522475 times on um, this you know 
change and um it's gonna give you okay, five two two four seven five times zero point zero zero six is equal to um it's equal to nine thousand one three five point eighty five so this is the increase now you add add this number add this number onto um population here so this one here okay and it's gonna give you something um it's gonna give you one five two two four seven five plus approximately nine one zero zero so um is one five three it's one five three so it's starts one five three so pretty much is this one is not this one is not this one so but it is the last one so um as i said before you may use elimination so uh, comparing you know um the other increase uh, from percentage degrees um in other populations or just calculating this way whatever suits you so um, the next one, the diameter of a circular table top is 2.6. So diameter is 2.6. So this is question 15. Uh, what is its circumference to the nearest meter? So circumference is 2 pi r or um, diameter times pi. So in this case, diameter is 2.6 times pi. And um, again, using calculator, um, is gonna give you something um, uh, close to eight, so approximately to eight. So they said um, to the nearest meter, so approximately eight, so yep, is this one here. Again, elimination can be used, so you can practice, you know, how you can actually use elimination. Um, question 16, an um, equilateral triangle, a square, and a rectangle, um, regular pentagon meet at point B so the meeting here so um, and um, what is the size of the obtuse angle CBA so we're looking for size of this one here so you can see how I circle this so um, some of all these you know angles here should be let me just have a look if I have all lines so it should be 360 degrees so one two three so three are like sort of given. So the first one, um, we should know that because it says, what did it say? Say, say, say that um, equilateral triangle. So all sides equal, meaning all angles are equal. So um, the um, angle in triangle is 180. So each needs to be 60. So this one here, so I'm going to use red, is um, it's 60. So beautiful then plus so this one i'm gonna use different color so this is red so we have red okay let's have a look green so this is green so what is this shape square so square has 90 degrees angle so um so therefore is plus 90 beautiful so um that's sum of all angles in square is 360 and each angle is 90. So now let's yellow. So this one here, what do we have? We have pentagon. And we do know that the sum of all angles in pentagon is 540. So, um, and you may think like, really, how do I know that? So I'll explain that in a second. And if I have one, one, two, three, four, five, 540 divided by five, um, 540 divided by 5 um, is going to give us uh, 108. So it's plus 108. When you add all this together, uh, 18, um, what do I have? 186090. So um, you should have 258. So now we have done, we have done this one here. So, and then this one here, and now we have the sum of all of them. So sum of all of them, and we still need the last one here. So we still need this part here. So, 
And because we know the sum of all angles is 360, pretty much what we have to say 360 take away 258, which is take away, you know, green, red, and yellow all together. So um, you're going to end up with 102. Okay, 102. Yeah, that's correct. So that is the angle on CBA. So, and that's the first one here, isn't it? Beautiful. So now I've mentioned that, you know, um, about um, rectangular pentagon that I'm going to um, explain how you can actually figure out. Um, you know the size so it's not the be be best picture so when you see shapes you know and you're not sure about the sum of all angles um, so pretty much what you can try to do is create some triangles and why I'm saying triangles because majority of us know that the sum of all angles in triangle is 180 so and we created in this you know pentagon so we created three triangles, so and each has 180. Um, so times three is gonna give you 540. So that is one way of uh, you know figuring it out. Okay, no worries, that would be all for this one. Uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye.